Hi, this is Nina Perloff, and in a recent video, I talked about how when I'm playing music, I'm often actually thinking about numbers and hearing the counts of the measure repeat over and over again in my brain, often in subdivision patterns. So I wanted to show some more examples of this, and today I thought I would talk a little bit about how this works when I'm playing a piece that has perpetual motion. For instance, in Bach. In these perpetual motion pieces where there's just steady, steady movement, no breaks, a lot of 16th notes continuously running with that motor element, even though the counting in my brain seems like it could be very metronomic and robotic and lifeless, I actually believe that the numbers that I'm feeling and how I feel that I can place them within the phrase and within their metric value of where they occur on strong and weak beats actually is what gives the music energy and what motivates the phrasing. I thought I would do a little demonstration. This is going to be a little odd. I'm not sure how it's going to work. You'll have to tell me. To show you sort of what is going on in my mind, how I think and feel the pulse and the phrasing through numbers while listening to um, the Bach Concerto in D minor, the 1052. So first I'm going to do a miniature demonstration showing what it would be like if I counted the numbers but I didn't give any phrasing to it. This is the bad way, the what not to do. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. Okay, that was obviously very boring and not what I'm trying to demonstrate. So now let's see how I do it where I take those same numbers, that same pulse, but I put energy into it. It might kind of seem like I'm singing. I'm not really trying to sing, but sometimes I use my voice to show how I'm phrasing the numbers within the phrase. I also tend to use my hands a lot. Um, I'm not trying to be a conductor because I actually know nothing about conducting except sitting in the orchestra and playing with a conductor, but um, I find that sometimes these, these hand motions can help inform which of the numbers that I'm saying is getting the most emphasis and which numbers are being pulled back on. Sometimes my counting pattern tends to favor the phrase of the melodic line, which is a flute player. We're usually playing the melodic line. But sometimes my phrasing is actually following the harmonic line or a counter melody. Do me a three, four, you want to 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 do me a three, four, you want
Yeah, boy, yeah, boy.